Now let's talk about some of the examples associated with developmental milestones. In this particular question, a three-year-old girl is brought to the physician for a well-child exam. She was born at term after an uncomplicated pregnancy. Physical exam shows no abnormalities. She rides a tricycle, can build a tower of eight blocks, and speaks in sentences. Which of the following is an accurate assessment of this patient's development? Now, before we read the options, let's, let's remind ourselves what are some of the things that a three-year-old should be able to do. When we're talking about motor, a three-year-old should be able to build nine blocks, three times three, nine, and it's eight blocks, pretty, pretty close. Um, other motor things a three-year-old should be able to do is that they will be able to ride a tricycle, they will be able to draw simple, simple uh, lines and circles. Those are the, the motor development. Seems like this child has both the motor developments, you know, about eight blocks and, and also she rides a tricycle. Both of them are there. So when we're talking about social, um, at three years of age, um, the child should be able to be able to spend a chunk of their time away from their mother. And when we're talking about verbal skills, at about three years of age and three years onwards, ch the child should be able to speak in full sentences and should be able to use 900 words, okay? So from this particular, uh, particular uh, question, we can see that the, the, the motor skills are there and she speaks in sentences, so the verbal skills are there. Nothing says about um, her uh, about her social skills. She has no a physical exam shows no abnormality. She rides a tricycle, she can build a tower of eight blocks, speaks in sentences, which the following is an accurate assessment of this patient's development. So I can see the, the verbal and the motor skills are just fine. Now let's read the option. Option number A says normal gross motor. Yes, normal gross motor and normal fine motor. Well, building the tower of eight blocks would be fine motor. So both of them are okay and normal language development. So in this case, A should be the answer. Everything else where there is delayed fine motor or delayed gross motor or you know delayed language development, none of them make sense because this child is doing what this child should be doing at about three years of age. So in this, in this particular scenario, the right answer is going to be choice A. Okay, so this is our next question, and it deals with, again, a two-year-old boy is brought to the physician's office for a follow-up exam because of recurrent bilateral otitis media. He is in the 50th percentile for height, weight, and head circumference. He is almost toilet trained, pretends to help care for his younger sibling, and can form three to four word sentences. Which of the following best describes his development? Now, this is a two-year-old, so before we even um, go to the options link, let's think about um, what happens to two-year-old. What are, what are some of the motor developments that happens at about two years of age? At two years of age, uh, a child is able to climb stairs. Uh, they should be able to stack six blocks. Um, those are the motor skills. Uh, social skills. Uh, they should be able to move away from the mother and come back to her or, or they should be able to you should be able to see rapprochement in a two-year-old those are the social skills about verbal and cognitive at about two years of age they should be able to use uh, two-word sentences and they can use about 200 words so in this particular patient we see that that he's about 50th percentile of height, weight, and head circumference, which is not bad. Um, we also see that he's almost toilet trained. Toilet training completes by three years of age. So he's two years old and he's almost toilet trained. So that is very good indication for verbal, for the cognitive, um, cognitive uh, development. Pretends to help care for his younger sibling. He's only two years old. If he's taking care of his younger siblings, that shows more cognitive skills which also tells me that he could probably walk because to be able to help he has to walk around 
so I would also say that his motor skills are also pretty good and in the end he can form three to four word sentences if a two-year-old can form two word sentences that is enough for verbal development so we talked about um, we talked about toilet training which would fall un under cognitive development uh, three to four word sentences verbal development so those were okay and since he helps out his younger sibling those are the social the social skills are also there so socially he's also developed so um, in the end it seems like this child is completely normal for a two-year-old.